all right hello guys so today this video is going to be about loose leash walking skills with positive reinforcement and little to no words so here you see nala is getting a little bit distracted so i'm just waiting her out i'm not saying anything to try and get her attention i take a step back and there she goes giving me her attention i treat her and we still continue to walk and she is a very long chewer for treats so keep that in mind while watching this so there you go the second she's done chewing she looks right at me and i give her a treat and we continue walking a little bit distracted so i try and turn around see if it's just chewing or not and then she was looking at the other people but she quickly redirected her focus so i treated her and we're going to still keep walking and there are people over to the left that you cannot see but they were there so here we are we're walking and i'm walking towards them and she's giving me amazing focus so i'm just saying yes that is the only word that i'm using throughout this entire training session and she's doing fabulous she's been responding extremely well to this type of training and i'm so so proud of how far she's come in just a few days even it's crazy so here there's not really that much to say her focus is amazing I try and stop. She goes a little bit forward. Wait for her to give me her focus because she's a little bit distracted. There you go. You can see the focus and I turn the other direction and walk. The only time or the only reason why I turned the other the direction was to try and get her more in heel position right next to me as opposed to in front of me because I want to encourage that correct heel position as opposed to her walking in front of me but she does have the tendency to stop so as you can see i'm trying to lure her back and here she sits but sitting is very difficult for her right now so i am rewarding that as well however if your dog does not struggle with that do not ask for it here you go you can see the engagement's really great and i turn there you go get her on my left side that is just a personal preference you guys do not have to do that car comes by we are out of frame i will probably cut this out da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. there we go now we're back in frame and she is walking beautifully there you go she is notice how she didn't stop right at my hip and there she did and i gave her a treat and i kind of pushed it towards her body just a little bit so that it encourages her to stay right next to me so here we're walking back up the driveway long tour looking around a little bit there you go gives me the focus gives her some pets gives me the focus wants to run into the house wait her out a bit there you go gives me the focus again and here we are there we go she's giving me the focus and she is a very focus oriented dog she loves attention but franklin is not like this so stay tuned for tomorrow's video and that will feature franklin but most of your dogs are probably more like Nala, so. Here you go, she gives me the focus. We're just doing some focus work and I'm luring her back into the heel position next to me. And I think she, the car passes, gets a little distracted, that's okay. Walk forward, tries to get the attention. And I think she's gonna offer a sit, but it's very lopsided because <laughs> she's special like that. So I try and get her over a little bit more. There we go. And I'm just trying to encourage that she's going to be next to me directly and not having to spin her butt. So here we are just working on some downs. She doesn't actually know down yet, which is why I'm using a lure, but she will definitely get there. I have no doubt in my mind that she will get there. Here you go. She lays down. I give her a pet on the head. And I'm just, that was my fault that she actually popped up there. I pulled a little bit too hard on leash and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing here. So trying to lure her i guess lure her back into a sit there we go she's such a good little project dog she's a direct reflection of how i am which is really great for me so here we go and i'm trying to get her to lure into the down and i'm not saying a word this entire time which is why i'm doing the voiceover as opposed to there we go and she lays down there we go and then i say yes good down that is all i say just to mark the behavior and capture it that's it and i'm just giving her some pets and some love she is a very 
um, restless dog, if you will. So she does not like to stay down when she is down. And you'll see her try and pop up a few times once we're, once we're here. But I haven't worked with her on this at all. This is the first time I've ever worked with her on this. So this is very impressive. There she is. She's looking and I'm waiting for the focus so I can give her another treat. Waiting for it. Oh, there are people coming by and they were really nice. They weren't doing anything or saying much. Um, but I was just waiting for her to give me the focus and she tries to pop up right there. So I reset her in the down because the person said something. Again, not an excuse, just something to be mindful of and something that we're working through. There you go. Yes. I should have given her a tree when she looked. There we go. I missed the one time that she did look at me, but it's okay because she gave it again right after. Um, there we go. She's giving me a lot of great eye contact. You can see she's very engaged. Her tail is wagging a lot. She's very excited and happy to be a part of this training session. I don't know what I just tried to do there. Oh, and then she pops up again. And I put her back into the down, give her the treat for it. She tries to pop up and I am able to put her back into the down throughout my body language. So here we go. We're walking back and forth, just trying to get her to stay in a down. And again, I have not worked with her at all on this. This is just natural. And this is all the training that I did for this night. She was extremely exhausted by the end of it, and she is still sleeping as I'm recording this voiceover two hours later. <laughs> so she tries to pop up, and I go reset her immediately to let her know that is not what I asked for, and she will stay down until I request otherwise. So I let go of the leash because I wasn't sure if the leash pressure was just a little bit too much to add in this session, just as the first time. And yep, she seems to be responding very well and I'm not pushing my boundaries too far. I know this dog pretty well at this point. So I feel like I'm just paying attention to her, the boundaries and signals that she's been giving me. And I wait for the eye contact very briefly, and then I go to turn the camera off. That's it. 